using the power of 3D medical animation. This video covers what is a pandemic, how this coronavirus is spreading, how coronavirus attacks the body, and what are recommended precautions to take for protecting against epidemics. Pandemics indicate outbreaks of disease that spread to cover an entire region or the world. A pandemic can result in massive loss of life. In the last 100 years, there have been four global pandemics. The 2019 novel coronavirus is a newly discovered strain from the coronavirus family that causes respiratory disease. Humans have long been infected by coronavirus as it is one of those responsible for the common cold. It is a contagious viral infection spread through inhalation or ingestion of viral droplets. As a result, coughing and sneezing and touching infected surfaces are primary sources of infection. The structure of coronavirus has multiple parts. Inside the virus lies the genetic encoding that allows the virus to hijack human cells and turn them into virus factories. The exact mechanism for this is not known. Most likely, as shown here, the human cell ingests the virus in a process known as endocytosis. Once inside the cytoplasm, the endosome opens to reveal the virus's genetic material, a single-stranded RNA. The virus hijacks the cell's machinery to replicate the RNA in N proteins and uses the endoplasmic reticulum to form its M protein outer layer and the all-important S protein. After replication, the virus is carried by the Golgi bodies out of the cell in a process known as exocytosis so that it can infect other cells. Meanwhile, the stress of viral production on the endoplasmic reticulum eventually leads to apoptosis or cell death. It should be noted that the mechanism of action for 2019 novel coronavirus is unknown. However, scientists in China have sequenced the genome while others have used the sequencing to visualize the structure. There is currently no cure or vaccine for the 2019 novel coronavirus, and treatment is only supportive. Therefore, preventing transmission is paramount. As an airborne virus, recommended precautions are similar to those for preventing the flu. This includes washing hands regularly with soap and water for 20 seconds, covering sneezes and coughs with the inside of the elbow, refraining from touching high contact surfaces like railings and doorknobs, if you use tissues, throw them away immediately. Avoid close contact with people who are sick.